Hello! Today we are going to make our story a little bit longer because usually a story is not just one page. Even though my characters are moving a bit, I'm going to make it more than one page. So I have my first page here. You could create a new story completely, but I'm going to use the story I've already started. And I have my first page here where they get scared of the crab. So I think I'm going to introduce a new character on the next page. So I'm going to add a new page. And what I have to do is I have to get rid of Scratch Cat again by holding him down. And then I am going to add a background. We'll be at the beach again. And I'm going to add the characters I had. So I had a crab. I had the girl and I had the boy with the red t-shirt. Okay, so I have my characters now. Next, I would like to add one more character. So I am going to add a starfish to this this time. So let's move the starfish and let's move the boy and girl to where they were on the last scene. So they ended about up here. And then we had the crab. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make the crab disappear. And the boy and girl move to look at the starfish. So first, crab dis disappearing. So I'm going to select the crab up here. And I am going to make him disappear. So I need a green. And I'm going to make him walk this way. And the way I get him to disappear, if I go to orange, oh, oops, purple, there is a disappear icon here where it looks like the person's not there. Let's see. There we are. He's gone. So that is my first part to my scene. Then I'm going to make the children move over this way. So let's make green flag and move this way. So I want them to move this way maybe five and this way one to get to the starfish. Let's see if that works. Yeah, she's quite close. Maybe it needs to be six. That's closer. And then I would like the boy to do the same. So he's going to do green arrow for six and then go down. Oh, look, I did the wrong direction. So I need to drag this one out. I wanted him to go that way. So can we reset? And let's go that way. Four, six, and one. So now I have my characters moving. Down there, the last thing, the starfish. I'm going to make the starfish grow. So in the purple, I have something that changes the size. So I have one here that says grow. I have one here that says shrink. And I have one that says reset size. So I could have a starfish grow. Let's make the starfish grow quite big. Let's see what happens. There we are, starfish grows. And shall we make them run away? I could do that as well, couldn't I? So I could put in a little runaway one up here. So I would just need to put in an arrow to go back, an arrow to go back. So let's see what this looks like. There we are. I could make the starfish wait before it grows like that. And that's my last change. There you go. So that's my next scene. Now I could add another scene on here. So let's add another scene. How about we put in a underwater scene? So I'm going to put in underwater. I'm going to get rid of Scratch Cat. 
and then I can choose what I'm putting under here. But that's up to you. So you see how we can create a whole story in Scratch Junior.